This is a capital asset pricing model question. So here we are dealing with the cap M. And the cap M says the, the expected return for some stock, and I'll just call it stock I, be generic, is equal to the risk free rate plus that stock's beta times the difference between the expected return on the overall stock market and the risk free rate. So if we look at this problem, we'll see that each of these quantities is given. So I've got the expected return for the overall market right here. So that is expected RM, expected return for the overall market portfolio. The T-bill rate, so that's the risk-free rate is 0.037. So that's gonna be RF and beta is there. That's the stock's beta. So we can insert these values and solve. All right, so now I'm ready to go. Putting those in my calculator, I see that 0 0.1150 is the answer. All right, so now let's talk about some variations of this problem. One common variation is to, instead of thinking about the expected return on the market and the risk-free rate separately, we go ahead and think about this entire term and call that the market risk premium. So the market risk premium is the same thing as the difference between the expected return on the overall stock market and the risk-free rate. And so in this problem, the market risk premium is 0 0.089 minus 0 0.037, which is 0 0.052. That's the market risk premium. And so in the problem, I could have, instead of giving you expected return on the market and the risk-free rate separately, I could have just given you the market risk premium. If that were the case, then you would just, instead of doing this subtraction term, you just put 0.052 right there. So that's variation uh, number one. Other things that you might need to do here um, is just use algebra and solve for something different. So for example, um, I could give you, uh, I could give you this, 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 and this, and ask you to solve for beta. So can you solve this algebraically for beta? Should be able to. Right, so what is beta here? Beta is the stock's expected return minus the risk-free rate in the numerator and the market risk premium in the denominator. So that's uh, just a simple algebra uh, question. Another question or another variation of this is I might say something like, what is expected return of a stock with the same systematic risk as the overall market. What's the expected return of a stock with the same systematic risk of the overall market? Well, this same systematic risk of the overall market, that's a clue that the beta for that stock is what? The beta for that stock is one, okay? So if beta is one, uh, you could go back in and substitute beta of one here. And what you'll find is the expected return for the stock is the same thing as the expected return for the market. 